Tell us a little bit about what to expect out of the Leopards this year. Obviously, Kadarius Tony was a big part of the offense, and he's down in Florida now. How, how do you replace that offense? Uh, just development. They just have to go in and take a kid like Jacoby Davis, who's going to be our starter, uh, a kid who worked his, worked his butt off and uh, to be great, to lead, lead a team that, you know, have a lot coming back on the offense beside a bunch of receivers who proven two 2,000 two yard receivers. Um, but, you know, it's about development and, and, and just putting them in the right position to be successful. Overall pitching, be competitive, compete every day, come with the right mindset, bring your hard hat, bring that brick by, that brick, by brick mentality. And for the most part, be, be, become upstanding citizen and, and men of character and much integrity. You mentioned a couple thousand yard receivers back. Who are some of those other offensive pieces like those guys that, that uh, we expect to see on making You'll plays bring, this fall? Uh, we'll bring Colin Bull back, who went for over, right up 1,100 yards, over, over right at 50 catches, 12 touchdowns, then Baron Jones. Another 1,100 yard receiver with over 50 catches, about 11 touchdowns. So, uh, Mark Marlin Pole, who's a slasher, uh, can do a bunch of Trajan Pugh, uh, running back, slot receiver, who's catch well, run through a bunch of power, run through speed. Uh, Joshua Norwood, uh, another good kid who gave us valuable minutes last year. So, uh, it, it should be exciting. It should be exciting. Just, you know, just a grind day in, day out. For the most part, you know, understanding who we are and, and establishing our identity. The team's made <clears throat> made some playoff runs. What's it going to take to get over the hump and maybe maybe get to a championship? Uh, just watch the luck. I mean, you know, <laughs> luck is involved, but you know, coach them hard. You know, but let them make plays. Let them be who they are. Uh, understanding they why creating an A to Z mentality. And uh, understanding the, the importance of, 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 of team chemistry and, and consistency. I think if that happens, I think you know we'll have a chance to have a good football team and, and, and do some exciting things. And right out of the gate, uh, the big rivalry with with uh, with Viger, Battle of Pritchard. What does that mean to the community, and what's it mean to these two teams to play it in Week One? Well, it means uh, it's tradition. Uh, it's, 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 uh, you know, for that week, it's, it's just a way of life. It's the cultural side, you know. So I think the biggest part is just enjoying it, embracing the mode, embracing the opportunity, and uh, realizing that, you know, it's a game. You know, you have bragging rights, but when it's all said and done, they're still friends, they're still relatives. Um, and it's blunt versus fire. So really, you know, it's just, what else can you say? But I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a great atmosphere. And, uh, We'll see how it comes out.